select star from contact so it's going to show me everything all right so this is what we have okay so let's write a simple um, select statement I want to see the record for let's say Hassan Mir so I'm gonna write where name equal to Hassan Mir how many conditions do we have in this where clause only one condition okay uh, so we have expression name is column basically so expression operator equal to sign is an operator and a uh, literal text literal it's uh, another expression here okay so it's one condition what happened here oops I think the language got changed so it has to be a single quote always make sure that your text strings are sandwiched in single quote otherwise you're gonna get an error all right so otherwise Oracle is gonna assume you're gonna talk you're talking about a column name if it's not in a single quote all right so if I execute this statement I should see only record number one so here we go so only one expression here oh so sorry so only one condition in this where clause so let me put another condition in this where clause always remember like I can write this in the next line or this line Oracle doesn't care at least there is if one is space or line separation between uh, you know any two keywords Oracle is fine with that so let me write it here so where so one condition at the top where name is equal to Hassan Mir and another condition is the bottom or name is equal to Larry Ellison okay so I want to see so in other words what I want to do is I want to see the records for both Hassan Mir and Larry Ellison okay so I just executed the statement and I'm looking at both of these records so see how we have two conditions in this where clause so okay let's uh, let's take a look at all the uh, records in this table okay so I just highlighted this SQL and clicked on run button so that Oracle only executed the highlighted part okay so now let's focus on the top SQL so what's gonna happen for each row Oracle is gonna execute both of these conditions so if either of the condition results in true then the whole uh, row will be displayed okay if if there is no true at all then no row will be displayed okay to be technically right if one the first condition results in true oracle is not going to even evaluate the next condition because it doesn't matter if this is true or false if the first is true then the whole thing is true because it's an or operator okay so little kind of little advanced thing there but anyway uh, so what or what Oracle is going to do is first Oracle is going to visit row number one. Oracle is going to evaluate this condition: is name is equal to Hassan Mir? Yes, it is. So the row one is marked as true. Okay. So is name is equal to Larry Ellison? No. Okay. So we have true or false is equal to true. So row one is going to be selected for the display. So for row number two, Oracle, Oracle is going to go like: is name is equal to Hassan Mir? False is name is equal to Larry Ellison true so false or true is equal to true so row number two will be selected for display now our Oracle is going to visit row number three is name is equal to Hassan Mir no Bill Gates is not equal to Hassan Mir right so that's false or name is equal to Larry Ellison no Bill Gates is not equal to Larry Ellison so we have two false here in the row number three false or false results in false so row the, the total result is false okay so uh, you have to think in terms of what's the result of first condition what's the result of second condition how uh, what would be the combined result after applying this operator here okay so that's how the row number three is going to result in false because false or false is false so row number three is not going to be displayed if I run the top part okay so now let's do an example of an end condition okay to make things interesting uh, let me just change the name of Larry Ellison to Hassan Mir. Let's say Larry Ellison did a name change. Update contact set name is equal to Larry Ellison where ID is equal to 2. So that's why we have always ID columns and tables so that we can refer to uh, to the record uh, in a unique uh, unique 
fashion okay because it has to be some unique identifier no matter what name Larry Ellison changes sorry my fault Larry Ellison changed name to Hassan me right not to Larry Ellison so no matter what name change Larry Ellison does we can always refer to this record as record number two so always keep that in mind that uh, that's the whole purpose of this unique identifier okay let me change the name is done one row updated let me do select all from contact so that we can see see what I'm doing I'm just highlighting this part and just clicking on run okay all right so most of my life I work on PLS uh, like SPL plus environment right this is this Oracle Express is also kind of new for me but anyway SQL is SQL so it doesn't matter on which environment you do so I'm getting used to of this highlighting thing it's quite handy anyway so now take a look at this uh, table here Larry Ellison has changed his name to Hassan Mir so we have two Hassan Mir here but actually they are two different people okay because one is has ID 1 the second one is ID 2 okay now let's clean this up okay now let's say you have been given task to take to retrieve the record for Hassan Mir so you write this SQL up there S select star from contact where name is equal to Hassan Mir and you click on run button okay now you basically got two records uh, like one for original Hassan Mir and other one for the new Hassan Mir which was Larry Ellison earlier right now what you want to do is you want to further narrow down and you have been told okay we are looking for Hassan Mir whose day phone number is one two three four five six okay so you're gonna put another condition here and day phone equal to one two three four five six okay now if you run this statement you should only see one record that is the original send me okay now let me do a select all on this table so that we can run the uh, run this through how Oracle would basically execute your SQL up there okay we have two conditions separated by and logical operator okay now for the row to be displayed both has to be true okay for row one Oracle is gonna say is name is equal to Hassan Mir true is day phone is equal to one two three four five six true okay so both are true so true and true is true so row one is marked for display for row two Oracle is gonna go is name is equal to Hassan Mir true is day phone is equal to one two three four five six false so true and false is false okay so row 2 is not going to be displayed for row 3 name is not equal to Hassan Mir and day phone is also not equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 false and false is definitely false right so both row and 2 will not be marked for display so it's kind of a logical common sense thing okay just have to uh, do some practice so it will grow on you okay so what we have learned in this tutorial is how to write where clauses with two conditions in them okay you learn about and operator and or operators you can uh, basically apply and operator on two conditions or or operator on two conditions and uh, so now what Oracle is going to look for is what is the com combination what is the combined result of the two conditions together after applying the logical operator okay so only those rows will be displayed uh, for which the combined result is true okay so in the next tutorial we'll make things a little bit more complicated okay so this is step by step approach so uh, hopefully after all the lessons you will become a pro in SQL alright I'll see you in next tutorial